In this lesson, we'll cover electrical components, specifically electrical equipment. So electrical equipment could be transformers or panel boxes that you need to place within your building or structure. For example, the model open on our screen right now is a cross-section of three floors showing the electrical room of panel boxes. So how do we go about adding a panel box into this view? Well, to do that, let's go to the Systems tab on your ribbon, and then on the electrical panel, click Electrical Equipment. The Electrical Equipment dropdown will appear now in the Properties area on the left. Here are loaded mechanical equipment elements that currently exist in your Revit project. We have things such as switchboards, transformers, and panel boards. For this example, I'm just going to choose the lighting and appliance panel board, 208 volt and the 100 amp unit. Go ahead and select that. Then what I'll do is I'll zoom in around the third floor. Now, before placement, if I look at the upper right of my ribbon, I'll notice in the placement area, it reads place on face, meaning I have to pick a face of an element to place this panel board which could be a wall, could be a ceiling, or could be a floor, depending on the view that I'm actually looking at. Typically, I'm going to want to place these on walls, so I need to be looking at an elevation or a section view. Now, once I'm in that area and I'm over top of that actual face that I want to apply this to, you'll see that face of that element, in this case the wall, highlight in blue. I'll then have dimensional data from the corners or edges, allowing me to place this dimensionally or simply drag and drop and place this wherever I choose. In this instance here, I'm just going to zoom in and align this with the PP-3A panel box. Left click to place. Once it's placed, I could edit the dimensional values of where the actual panel is placed. When you're done placing these mechanical equipment elements, just click modify. Now if I were to select the panel again, after the command is over, I can see it's been placed on the wall surface. The wall is the host. I could offset it from the wall if I wanted it to, and I can also change other various properties inside of the property area on the left. Go ahead and click in the background to deselect. So as a review, in this lesson, we looked at creating electrical components, specifically electrical equipment. We looked at being able to place things such as switchboards, transformers, or wall panels, or electrical panels, within your Revit project. We used the electrical panel as an example we needed to place this electrical panel on a surface as a host. So we used the face of a wall, basically placing this panel box vertically on a wall within a section view. We then looked at the properties of this panel box after it was placed, seeing that it was associated to that wall face, and looked at the properties of the panel box itself within the properties area.